a... Oh, hang on. There's going to be a cutscene, I think. Okay, maybe not. Ah, now there is. Yeah. It's actually quite amazing what they did. It was like a real-life Hitman video game thing, so that I think they gave everyone headsets and you would actually talk directly to Agent 47 um, and give him directions and stuff. You know, and an act it was connected to a camera with an actor. And I think it was in, it was all live as well. It's quite interesting. A lot of the big, well not the big YouTubers, but I mean the, the big news uh, people did it like, oh no, no, there were, there were some YouTubers that did it as well. Um, but PlayStation Access did it. Um, and Outside Xbox did it. I think Outside Xbox was my favourite. Obviously as well as the Chuckle Brothers, because that was just strange to see. They're like childhood icons, and then they're like telling uh, 47 to like bash some woman's brains in, and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't expect him to be like this. Anyway, open the door. You have to go this way, right? Ah, and open the door. I think I'd really like to do Sleeping Dogs again. It's weird because when the, the first, when Sleeping Dogs first came out, it cropped up at a really good, well, really, not good, but an interesting time in my life. And then it kind of enhanced it. Um, and then it came out again. And I'd, it's probably the game more than anything. Um, yeah, but I, I, I really do like playing through that anyway. Apparently that was um, meant to be a sequel to... Do you remember True Crime Streets? Was it True Crime Streets of LA? And then they did another one which was, I think it was Streets of New York. I never played that one, but I remember uh, True Crime Streets of LA was, that was good. I never, like in recent times they were saying, they've been saying on the internet, um, or I've noticed videos recently saying, um, that apparently Snoop Dogg was in, um, as a, as a playable character, but he was, I don't know what you had to do, you probably had to complete the get. oh no that's it, there were dog bones, um, as collectibles, um, and you had to get all of them, which I never did, but if I'd have known that you could have played a snoop dog at the end of it all, I would have probably tried to get them. I didn't know that at the time. Anyway, I can't play True Crime Streets of LA, but yeah, apparently that was supposedly a sequel. Sleeping Dogs, and then I don't really know what happened. I think it must have got passed around. Unless it was still hand. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to look into that again. 
get my facts straight. Anyway, when when someone mentioned that that it that it was a successor to that game or a kind of sequel. Well they call it a spiritual sequel, don't they? Um It wasn't that unbelievable. Anyway, uh let's just keep going. Fuck me. I must be getting tired or some shit. I keep rambling about Absolute stupid shit. Or at least my points aren't being... aren't right. It's like when you talk... You, have you ever done that before? It's like you've been talking for like half an hour and then someone just sort of looks at you confused and they go, so what's your point? And then you'll say, well, my point is, is salt and vinegar is my favourite flavour of crisps. Now go, you talked half a fucking hour about that. I hate you. And you're like, well, that's another friend gone. Um, <laughs> no, that's not true. That was an exaggeration. Or was it? Right, um... So yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say, that I really do like salt and vinegar crisps. Can you imagine that if there was like a wiki page? What am I talking about? If there was a Wikipedia page and it just said your name, and then it said underneath, likes this flavour of crisps. And that was it, that was the whole page. I think I need to find a doctor in the game for, you know, for the moment. Oh shit, what the fuck? Go, stop. There we go. Heal now. Puff carry. Um, medicine. Fill. I just thought then, I sounded really obnoxious then, didn't I? Just walked up to him and was like, Heal now. I didn't mean it like that. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> um, that... No, I don't know much about it, but I think I was drinking and, you know, when you, you're you on YouTube for, well, I was going to say like 16 hours, um, but no, when you're on YouTube for about five minutes, you enter the weird side of YouTube, um, and it's, well, it's not necessarily weird, but anyway, I'm exaggerating. So there's this thing called SCP, and I think... Is it really? Is it scary, creepy pasta? Now, do, like, bear with me, all right? But there's actually a really good thing on there, and it's what is it? It's called like secure containment protocol or something. Like, bear with me, right? Because Mark, I think I'm pretty sure Mark has played this game. I haven't played it, but <laughs> um. No, there was something about it, about the Plague Doctor, uh, and if you look it up on 
YouTube, there are some videos of it, of a voice actor actually playing out the role of the Plague Doctor, and it, it, it really, well, like I said before, I was drunk, so take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt, but anyway, fuse is on. Um, it really, it really kind of uh, sucked me in, and don't, for fuck's sake, I hate the internet sometimes. Anyway, it it pulled me in. Note that can be twisted as well. Um, anyway, it, I, I just found it really interesting. Uh, and they were sort of, I think they were asking this character questions uh, from actual real people. I just, I, from a storytelling point of view, I found it really interesting in that, because uh, it's quite challenging, I think, if you've got a character and you've defined them in such a way, and then someone asks you like a really complicated, maybe even philosophical question about your character and how they think about that, I think that's really interesting and quite as a bit of a challenge. Did I just say that three times? But anyway, it's something that I'd like to explore as well. Anyway, uh, where are we? See, this is what happens. I ramble for a bit and then I realise I've actually done quite a bit of treasures. That's good. Am I really going to say that? No, so I think... When did Sleeping Dogs come out? I don't know, but I, I kind of think it was... Have you been <sighs> well, that was just in the news just recently about mental health stuff, and yeah, I know I'm going to start going on about that shit, but anyway, um... Uh, what was I going to say? No, it was when I just suddenly... Well, not suddenly, but I, just, I started realising that things weren't quite right. And... Well, they hadn't been quite right for a few years, and I had to ask at this point, because I was struggling so much that... Well, I was at university, so... Um... It was really important to me that I finished that. It's weird that I suddenly tangent, tangented into this. It's probably the music. Um, but yeah, no, cause, oh, fucking hell, I've mentioned it now, I have to be serious. No, because I, I... Yeah, I realised that something was wrong, so... You know, I, I started to ask for help, and it is a good thing that I did that. But, um, it's not just like, it, it's, it's never simple, it's not like you just ask for help and then suddenly someone says, Oh, well this is wrong with you, and you need to do blah 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 blah, that's it, you're cured. No, it does it's never works out like that. Um, God, I shouldn't, I should really, oh, I, I, God, I said to myself, if I would ever talk about this stuff, um, I'd try and formulate some kind of structure so that I knew what I wanted to say about it, but I'll just say quickly that there was, I talked to someone, um, they found me a counsellor at university, um, things didn't necessarily start to look up, but I realised that I was getting help, which was the important thing, and that this, 